Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this series, I'll be showing you the basic programming concepts with real life examples so that you could understand how the programming concepts work in all programming languages. In this video, I'll be finishing up with the Boolean algebra and how other logical operators work. So let's get started. So a logical operator is a symbol or a word used to connect two or more expressions such that the value of the compound expression produced depends only on that of the original expression and on the meaning of the operator. This is quite a mouthful. So we're gonna break it down step by step. There are mainly three basic logical operators that we should familiarize ourselves with. The first is the AND operator. The AND is a logical operator in Boolean algebra. It works the same way the way we use the word AND in our daily conversation. Bring milk and eggs from the store, for example. Please like and subscribe this video. The AND operator works on two or more expressions or events. You have to touch all the events and not one is an option here. It means that in the first example, you're instructed to bring both milk and eggs from the store. You cannot choose here. And the second ex example, you're requested to both like and subscribe the video and you're not given a choice between the two. So how does AND work with conditions? It's simply asking a question using AND. Did you find both milk and eggs in the store? Notice we have used the AND in a question. The finding of milk can be yes or can be no. Finding of eggs can be yes and it can also be no. These two are separate questions but it is combinedly asked using AND. So what should be the answer of the combined question. We should draw a table just to clarify the answer. So, as I've told you, there are two questions hidden in this combined question. The first one being found eggs, which we are putting in the top of the chart. And the next one being found milk, which we are putting in the, col uh, in the rows of the chart. So there are two possibilities for found eggs, two answers, that is, yes or no. Same goes with milk, yes or no. So we can see four scenarios like this. If we found eggs and milk both, then the answer to the combined question would be yes or true in programming sense and in all other cases it will be no because one of the things that we are supposed to find was not available and in the last part where we didn't find neither eggs nor milk the answer of the combined question will definitely be false so the answer of the combined question is only true when both of the events are true. Now let's look at a second logical operator, OR. OR is a logical operator in Boolean algebra. It works in the same way we use the word OR in our daily conversation. Just like AND, we can construct few examples using OR as well. 
bring milk or eggs from the store. Please like or subscribe this video. So as you can see, using the or in our daily conversation gives us a choice between the two. We can either bring milk or eggs, whichever we might find. You can either like or subscribe, whichever you prefer. So similar to AND, we make the conditions using OR as well by simply asking a question. Did you find milk or eggs in the store? Similarly, this is asking two questions which can be either yes or no in all these cases. Two questions are combinedly asked using OR. Similar to AND, we are again drawing a chart. Putting the question number one, which is found eggs on top. And the second question found milk in the rows. Now we know that the answer to the found eggs can be yes or no. Or found milk, similarly be yes or no. Now, what will be the answer to the combined OR question? If you fill up this chart here, table, we'll see that if, if we find eggs as well as milk, the answer to the combined question is yes, because we found the milk as well as the eggs. If we didn't find, suppose we did not find the eggs, but we found the milk. So as we had a choice between like finding milk or eggs, the answer to the combined questions will be yes. Similarly, if we found the eggs and did not find the milk, the answer to the combined question will also be yes. The only time the answer to the combined question will be no when we didn't find milk or the egg. So the answer of the combined OR question is only true when any of the events are true. Now moving on to the, the last of the basic logical operators. And this one's the easiest. The NOT operator. The NOT operator is the easiest to understand. It simply reverses the answer of a condition. For example, Let's look at a simple condition. Suppose it is raining outside at the moment. Where I'm staying, it really is. So the answer to this question, is it raining, should be yes. But if you add a not to the question, is it not raining? The answer should be no. It simply reverses the answer of the condition. If we add a not, the question. This concludes the logical operators in the Boolean algebra. So what's next? In the next videos, we are going to start data types, where we'll look into variables, more types of operators, and we'll learn how computers and we as humans deal with numbers every day. See you then.